Hey guys, I'm back on the InMotion V10F. It's been a little while since I've ridden this electric unicycle, and I haven't really posted much since they did a firmware update. I'd like to kind of just give my thoughts and impressions on what this has been like to ride ever since, and how I've been using it on pretty much a daily basis for my commutes and uh, local runabouts. This remains a really, really good wheel to cruise on. I love the top speed, I love the comfort. Your legs are so close together on this wheel that it's just great to ride over long distances. Those tire size is great, the comfort and confidence at speed feels really good, and um, I've really enjoyed riding it and, and living with it. It's kind of been a really nice addition to the InMotion V8 slash Solo Wheel 3, just because it's a little bit faster, a little bit more usable. I feel a little bit safer on it because it's a larger tire, larger wheel. But still, it's not as portable as that wheel. So if I'm going to be wheeling the, you know, the electric unicycle around on the indoors, going around for groceries, doing stuff like that, I'm going to take the Solo Wheel 3. But uh, for quick trips, this is really my new go-to. One of my favorite features on this wheel is just how comfortable the pedals are. You have these nice, big platforms. And uh, your feet are so closely spaced together. You can really get comfortable on this thing. You can't quite hang with traffic like you can on the Gotway MSX. At 25 miles an hour, you have just a slight amount of tilt back, and uh, you can feel it. It's definitely not a super powerful high speed wheel. Right now, cruising pretty comfortably at 23, 24 miles per hour, just sitting on that tilt back very slightly. And it's nice too because the app shows you where you're going when you can see your speed. <laughs> Pretty cool feature. So after the firmware update, I just found this wheel to be way more rideable than it was before. It's a lot smoother, a lot more fluid, maybe a little bit more responsive with quicker acceleration, but uh, there just seemed to be a little bit of a delay, a disconnect, a lagginess to the wheel pre-update. And after that, it's pretty much all taken care of. Uh, it feels very natural, very fluid, very smooth to ride and operate, and uh, really no complaints about its rideability. Again, the advantages to a bigger wheel, when you hit a pothole, you hit an unexpected bump, it's not as big of a shock, and that's the same case here with the V10F. Pretty nice, honestly. Just paid some of my friends at M1 Concours a visit. They're getting set up for their display tonight here at the Inn at St. John's for the Concours d'Elegance. Pretty cool event, a lot of supercars, a lot of really exciting stuff comes out of the woodwork. We've got another GT here and a Bugatti Veyron with Kip Stewart Motorsports. Pretty awesome, a lot of cool metal here. Hey. How's it going? Good. You know, comparing this to other wheels, it's definitely not as sporty or athletic feeling, but uh, it does have a comfort and a smoothness to it that uh, is just a little bit more relaxing to ride on. You know, you're not gonna be charging uh, at trails or really hitting corners super hard in this V10F. It could perform a little bit, but uh, it's no MSX from a performance standpoint. And, um, but it does offer a nice, comfortable ride. It's, you know, it's your luxury SUV. And uh, that pretty much sums up its character to me, for me at least. I would like to get slightly better acceleration and braking performance out of this wheel. It just feels like if you're really needing to slow down quickly or avoid an obstacle, there just isn't the regen or the acceleration to get out of a situation. 
so to sum things up this has been a pretty enjoyable wheel to ride and own the comfort level is really a big plus with the v10f like i mentioned earlier it's really kind of lacking in acceleration and braking performance compared to a lot of the higher powered and more performance driven wheels on the market but it's very comfortable to ride it's very smooth the massive pedals help in that and so does the close foot positioning Ergonomically, it's pretty good among one of the better wheels that I've ridden. And it's a good looking wheel without any major crashes on my end. It still held up well, it shines nicely. The black plastic does scratch easily if you're gonna wipe it down, but you can always polish it out with a little bit of rubbing compound. This has definitely been one of my go-to wheels in the lineup for the last year or so. And the latest firmware update does bring a lot more usability to it and uh, makes it just a better overall package. Anyway, if you guys are wanting to learn more about the V10F, head on over to InMotionUSA.com and the link. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.